Is it recording? All right. The first time I saw him. Right. The first time I saw him was, he's brought into our classroom by the head. And the head's all, this is his first day. Make him welcome, blah, blah, blah. Only usually, yeah, new kids, they're like, hey, hi. You know, they want to be liked. But he's just stood there, staring like. So even then, even before all the there was definitely something about him. Well, I wasn't actually in school that day because I was having this thing done to my teeth, but I'd seen them. I mean, a whole bunch of us saw the van when they were moving in. And well, they weren't like, they didn't really smile very much. And the women all had those scarves, you know, the ones where you can't see their faces. Anyway, the only empty seat's next to me. Not because I don't have any friends or anything, just because the teachers reckon I talk too much. So I'm like, all right, mate, Harry, how's it going? And he just goes, Muhammad. I'm like, OK, friendly. Um, little things at first. Like, he wouldn't sit with him on a break. So I go up to him and I'm like, why don't you eat school food? Because they do like vegetarian pizza and everything. And he's like, it is not halal. So I'm like, right, halal. Uh, what does that actually mean? And he's like, it is not fit to eat. So I'm like, uh, okay, whatever. We always get the same bus. Me, Chantel and Darren. Usually, we chat about film club. Like we're making this film together. Anyway, it turns out that's his bus stop too. Mohammed's. Film club? What can I say? Film club? Film club's literally the best thing around here. Like, they've got all this sweet kit. Cameras, lights, computers. And there's this studio where basically you can make your own movie. And you know what I mean? There's not a lot else around here. And it's what I want to be, an actor. Anyways, there's this competition. And they make a short film about whatever. And the best ones get shown in this festival. And if you win overall, you get a week in Hollywood. We were making this horror film, and basically, I get locked in the school overnight, somehow. And these ghosty things start happening, like doors swinging open and books flying around. And I'm like really freaked out. Then Dazza, Darren, comes in and rescues me. It's not like we had anything against him, Freshy, Muhammad. But we're halfway through making this film for this major competition. And suddenly, he's hanging around, saying he wants to be part of it. Freshy? Yeah, it's a word for when someone's new. As in, fresh off the boat. But I mean, I was a new kid. I joined in year eight, and I didn't have any trouble fitting in. Everyone gets the mickey taken a bit when they're new. I don't know. You just deal with it. Let me tell you why I become upset. When I arrive, I feel everyone knows everyone, and they all stare at me. On my third day at school, this girl, who has not spoken to me before, asks why I do not eat their food. I explain to her that I am Muslim. If the food is not halal, it is forbidden under Islamic law. She acts like I've insulted all English cooking. I have some English that I learned in my country, but here, Everyone speak fast. I cannot always understand. In my lesson, I need a ruler. I do not know the words. So I say to Harry, what is this school? He says, poo. So I put my hand up and I say, sir, I need a poo. Sir, please, can I have a poo? Everyone is laughing at me. I wish I could disappear. I heard about film club from a teacher. She says, what interests you? I say, all my life, I love movies. When I heard they were making a horror film, I was excited. I thought, maybe I can help with the idea. So he comes up to us, right? We're all at the bus stop. And he starts, uh, <laughs> what was it? Your film is missing a key element of the horror genre. I said, you need a motive. There should be a reason why bad things happen. Maybe there was a murder at the school and the ghost is seeking revenge. 
Or maybe it is not a ghost, it is the caretaker pretending to be a ghost because he does not want people in his school at night. I was like, you don't need a reason. If your school has ghosts, your school has ghosts in it. And besides, what do you know about movies? Do they even have cinemas where you come from, Hamhead? Oh yeah, we were calling him Hamhead by then because of this joke Harry told once. What do you call a man with a piece of ham and a lawnmower on his head? Mohammed. <laughs> it was just a joke. Everyone's got a nickname around here. Like I get called Daza, even though my name's Darren. We had this thing, just a stupid game. But whenever we were at the bus stop, we'd wait till he came near us and then we'd all move away. Originally, it was because he brought his own food and, you know, you could sort of smell it. Then that turned into the idea that he was a terrorist and he had a bomb in his backpack. Looking back, yeah, he did change. He was quieter and he stopped coming film club. Then one day, at the bus stop, he comes up and you know that game bogeys? Where you take turns whispering something and each person gets a bit louder? We do that like... Terrorist. 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 And he looks at us and he's like, watch out, maybe I blow you up. Yes, I become angry. They call me Hamhead. That is offensive to me as a Muslim. Ham is pork and pork is not halal. They think they make a horror film, but what do they know about Torah? In my country, it is not safe to walk these streets. You cannot get an education. If you are sick, you cannot get a doctor. Some people here do not realize how many freedoms they have. So I think, maybe I told them I am a terrorist. Maybe they shut them up. One moment we're standing there, waiting for the bus, and then suddenly, it's all kicked off. Blood. That's the main thing I remember. On his face, his shirt, the pavement, the bench. Like something out of a horror film. We were just messing about. We just wanted to mess with him. One of us must have shoved him and he tripped or something. Hit his head against. You know those frames they put bus information in? He was cut, just near his eye. I remember thinking, OMG. That could actually have been his eye. We said that if he told anyone, then he'd regret it. That night, I'm home, lying on my bed. My face is hurting. I think. We came to this country to get away from fear. If I'm scared here too, then what is the point? He wasn't in school the next day, Muhammad. I was in maths and the loudspeaker came on and it made us all jump because they don't use it very often. Harry Mosley to the head teacher's office. You could tell it was serious. Chantel and Darren were in there already. It was really quiet and they were staring at the floor. And the head says, I have some news. I guess I never thought about it. I mean, where he'd come from, what it was like there, or how we made him feel. I think... Now, I know we were pretty mean to him. I think... maybe... we felt threatened. Because he was new. Because he wasn't one of us. It was easier to push him away than to make the effort to get to know him. The police had been to the school. Someone saw what was happening at the bus stop. They called 999. The police came, but there was no one there. But they did see the blood. There was a CCTV camera pointed right at the bus stop. The police reviewed the footage, so there was no point denying it. The moment I walked into the head teacher's office, I knew. I was like, 
Oh man, what have we done? I do not know what would have happened if someone had not witnessed the incident. I do not know if I could have told anyone. I think I would have been too scared. But I think this school made an excellent decision. I did not want Harry and Chantel and Darren to have a hundred detentions. I just wanted them to realise that I am human. If any of us had been treated that way, we'd be really upset. We wouldn't want to do anything. Not leave the house even. And then you'd just miss out. Making this film together, you know, it's made me realise that you can't just look at people from a distance. You've got to see them in close up. And uh, cut! That is the best thing! Yeah, that was sick, man. Right? Was I doing too much? No, you're sick. You are sick? Normal. Sick means good. Oh, very sick. That was the last one. So we are ready to go do the construction. We are so going to win. We should have this new stuff. I'll get the camera and you tap to the computer. Oh yeah, Mo, I really like that idea we had. About using the CCTV footage. Really?